The reverse lunge. It's one of the most important single leg exercises you can do for your development of lower body strength. Works your quads, hamstrings, calves and glutes. To perform this exercise well, it's really important, which is why we're going to focus on some of the key technique points in this clip. First of all, the key point is that we put the weight through the front foot. It's the front foot which is doing the work. The back foot is just there for a little bit of extra support. So first of all, in this position, we step back. As we step back, we plant that foot on the floor, but we still try to maintain the weight through the front foot. We drop our knee down towards the ground. And the final position at the bottom, you will notice that the chest is over the front foot. The knee is driven forwards and the spine is in neutral. We have a demonstration here of someone that has great range of motion. There will be many of you that maybe don't have that range of motion. To start off with, you may not go all the way down to the ground. As we stand up, we need to focus on driving through the front foot. We can use the back foot to stabilise a little bit, but we most definitely don't want to be pushing off the back foot. We want to use the front foot because it's the hamstrings and the glutes of the front leg which we're trying to develop here. So let's have a look at that again. Step back. Now really focus on driving through the hips in the front foot, squeezing and contracting your glutes, pushing your hips forwards and standing up really tall at the end, squeezing both glutes now to stand in full hip extension with your head up and chest up. Let's take a, a look at a couple more. Even weight distribution on the front foot. So the even weight distribution means that you are balanced between your heel and your forefoot, not all of the weight on your heels. As you kick your leg back, just lightly place it on the ground. If you're just new to this exercise, you can reduce the range of motion. By reducing the range of motion, you don't go down as far. This allows you to support and stabilize on that front leg and still make sure that you can contract the glutes and stay strong through your lumbar spine. You may notice that if you drop too low to start with, you become unstable, lose your balance and potentially lose the control through your spine. We want to make sure that you're controlling and looking after your lumbar spine and your lower back. Let's have a look at a few more just before we finish off. Full hip extension every single time when you come up to the top of this movement. Even weight distribution between the front of your foot and your heel. And let's not forget to breathe. Breathing in on the way down, breathing out on the way back up again. This is a great exercise to develop single leg strength. Really important for our function and development. So that's your reverse lunge.